Let's try a few examples using the fundamental counting principle. Example number one, an apartment complex offers apartments with four different options designated by A through D. Option A is the total number of bedrooms. You can have one bedroom, two bedrooms, or three bedrooms. We've got three choices here. Option B is the number of bathrooms. You can have one bathroom or two bathrooms. We have two options here. It can either be on the first floor or the second floor of the apartment complex. There are two options. You can have a lake view apartment, a golf course view apartment, or no special view at all. And so there's three choices. According to the fundamental counting principle, um, how many apartment options are available? We will find this by saying 3 times 2 times 2 times 3. Alright, so I've got 3 times 2 is 6 times 2 times 3. And then 6 times 2 is 12 times 3 is 36. There are 36 different options available. One of those options would be a one bedroom, one bath, first floor lake view apartment, or I could have a one bedroom, one bath, second floor um, lake view apartment. There are a total of 36 different ways that I can combine my options. Alright, let's try another example. Okay, example number two. A car model comes in nine colors with or without air conditioning, with or without a sunroof, with or without automatic transmission, and with or without anti-lock brakes. In how many ways can the car be ordered with regard to these options? All right, so as far as colors, we have nine colors. We have two choices for AC, either with or without. We have two choices for sunroof, either with or without. And we have two choices of transmission, either automatic or not. And we have two choices for the types of brakes, either anti-lock or not anti-lock. In order to find the total number of ways that this car can be ordered as far as the options are concerned, we will multiply 9 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Now, according to the order of operations, I can just work left to right. 18 times 2 times 2 times 2, 36 times 2 times 2, 72 times 2 is 144. So there are 144 different ways to order this car with the options that are available. Now, if you look at your patterns here, from experience that you've had in previous courses, you could write this as 9 times 2 to the fourth power. Exponents could occur first then, that would give me 9 times 16, and then 9 times 16, that's 54, 9 and 1 plus the 5 is 144. Alright, let's try another example. How many different four letter radio station call letter, or sorry, four letter radio station call letters can be formed if the first letter must be a W or a K. Alright, so we've got four letters that we're going to choose. The first letter has to be a W or a K, so that gives us two options. The second letter can be anything A through Z, that's 26 options. The third letter can be anything A through Z, so there's 26 options. And the fourth letter can be anything A through Z, so we have another 26 options. Alright, so we're going to multiply our choices here. This one's getting a little big to do by hand. Let's pull up a calculator. This is just the calculator available in my accessories on my computer. You have the option there when you're viewing the calculator to either view a standard calculator or scientific. I just have this one on scientific. Alright, so I've got 2 times 26 times... 26 times 26 equals. 
that's going to give me 35,152 different call letters that radio stations can use if the first two letters have to be a W or a K. Now I could have put this in my calculator as 2 times 26 to the third power. The nice thing about a scientific calculator is that it does perform according to the order of operations. So I've got 2 times 26 to the, notice this key right here, x to the y, so to the third power equals 35,152. I also have an x cubed here, I could have used that key, or the key that lets me put in any base and any power. Okay. And so we had the same answer, 35,152. All right, let's go down and try one more. All right, example number four. A social security number contains nine digits, such as 074-66-7795. How many different social security numbers can be formed? All right, so we've got nine digits. 3 dash, 2 dash, 4. Out of the digits that we have, there are 10 total digits. So I have 10 options for each of the 9 spaces. I'm going to multiply these together. So I end up with 10 to the ninth power, which is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 zeros. We have here, thousand, million, billion. There are one billion different social security numbers that can be formed as a nine-digit code with the following format.